Hey, new little video. Um, this one is going to be a quick one. It's just that um, I'm talking in the forum about body bags. I showed the videos in the past, but people are getting more interested about that. We're asking questions, so I thought I would show one of mine. Um, and uh, it will be a short video because uh, I went biking uh, last Sunday and uh, hurt myself. <laughs> So I'm out of commission for a few weeks, but um, so this is what we call an air cast, by the way, if you've ever seen one. Uh, so basically, it's a little bit like a a cast. Well, it's an air cast, and so uh, on the side over here, there's little uh, balloons that inflates and basically maintain my foot uh, straight. So anyway, so back to the video. So, uh, this is what a body bag, body bag looks like, not a body bag. <laughs> it's body bags is if you didn't have a body bag. Um, so, see, just for a comparison, here's my, let's see if I can see pretty well. So, here we go, let's look that way. So, this is my hand. Um, so, as you can see, so this is my hand with the uh, comparison to, to the back, so it's pretty relatively uh, small um, and as well as you can see it's pretty uh, compressive um, there's different size this one is I think a, a two person and um, depending of uh, what you buy and, st and stuff like this, this one I think was about 100 bucks um, but uh, they go between uh, $70, I mean I saw some at $70 and actually I'll put link below of places that uh, I, I bought some um, and uh, they're big in the UK, well in, uh, in, in Europe I should say because it's a different place in the UK and they're very, they're awesome. Uh, the reason is that they, um, they kind of have a multi-purpose kind of thing. So they're a little bit like a tarp. But the advantage of this one, and that's why I use it mostly because when I go hiking or scrambling, I can be a, uh, above the tree line. And being above the tree lines means that uh, I don't have trees or anything like this to uh, tie up uh, like a lean-to or a frame or anything like this. So uh, the advantage of this is that literally I just put that over me and I have a sudden uh, uh, sh uh, shelter as well and um, with the injury that I had which is uh, uh, I would say about 80% of the injuries that you may have when you're out there is uh, bones bones and muscles so musculoskeletal so that means that you can either sprain an ankle or break a bone or uh, break an arm or something like this and means that you uh, arm is not so bad you could probably but still there's still a place that uh, having a broken arm would be difficult to continue uh, your uh, so it could affect your survivability but you still need a shelter um, and this is the advantage so even with one arm I mean you could set up this thing uh, no difficult so I'll uh, and this is another kit a uh, little old survivor also survival kit that I have and we were talking as well for um, survival kits for kids well as you can see this uh, was it's pretty small and has uh, a few things that uh, for survival so I got a sensation uh, this it's a me um, light uh, those stick and actually I would probably add those ones now that uh, the small ones that uh, uh, H, uh, or um, UV uh, uh, I forgot the, the name of them, but uh, I'll put the link of a uh, place because I bought some and they're just awesome. And they could actually, the small one probably would fit in, in that little kit. And so that means that uh, the first, so if I break my, uh, uh, if I break, let's say I, I sprain my ankle or break my leg and um, I, uh, I don't have much uh, light, so I could use this one for the first 68 hours. So that means for the night. And then um, I could leave the next one the, for the next morning outside. And then basically I could have light continuously as long as I have a little bit of light. So, 
and I have a single mirror so you have a few things here that uh, could help you um, for, with your survival so um, I'll set up the uh, the body bag just to show how big it is and uh, I'll be right back so here's the body bag um, outside the, the pocket and like I said this is a, a two-person one so as you can see <laughs> it looks ridiculous right now, but um, we do have a little bit of windows uh, here, and as well, we have little vents like over here. So even if you're inside, and actually right now I can already feel the heat. Obviously, I'm inside, but um, so this is about the size of what it looks like. So basically what you do with them is uh, you put your backpack, uh, and like I said, this one is a, a small one, but you put your backpack on, sit on your backpack, and uh, two person, two or three person can sit in there. Uh, there's bigger ones as well for two or three person, like I have another one that's a little bit bigger. Um, but this one I carry in my, um, when I go biking. So I like the compact of it. And don't forget, this is not to bushcraft uh, or to live in the outdoors, it is to literally survive. So if I have to survive, um, I don't really care about, you're not supposed to be comfortable <laughs> because something happened that was not very nice uh, and so you're, you have to uh, survive. So basically, you sit up and uh, stay warm and, and actually, like, like I said, I'm already starting to feel the heat and um, there's not much sun. There's a little bit of sun coming from the door, but there's not much stuff on it. Uh, it would protect from the water. I tried it before. Uh, every gear that I always have, I always uh, do what we call, I call the toilet paper test. Uh, basically what it is, is that I put that under uh, water. So when I wait that there's a big storm and I put a piece of toilet paper under to see if it's waterproof. And it did pass. Uh, this one actually, I don't, I didn't try. But the other body bag that I had, I tried. And literally, I just left it in, no, uh, not extended or anything like this. And the toilet paper was totally, totally fine. So that means that it is. So obviously, you, if it would rain a lot, you would probably get a little bit wet because of the contact with your skin. But with ski poles as well, um, you could cross it a little bit and make a little bit of a, of a shelter. So. The other thing as well, so now, for the, when I was saying multi-purpose, so let's say I'm, uh, I want to start a fire. Well, I can just open it up like this, and let's say it's raining, well now I can, I can work my fire over here, and I have a protection right over there. Just stopping for uh, like a coffee or something like this, or you get this out. You. Uh, you're protected from the wind. It's a wind barrier and as well from, from the rain. You stop a little bit, take your break, put that back in your backpack. So, and it can be carried for season. It's very compact, very small. So it's very useful. Um, I, I don't know how resistant it would be, but probably could build a, shelter, uh, a, um, a stretcher out of that as well. So if you would roll it. I mean, it's uh, kind of an island. I'm not quite sure which this one is made of, uh, I will actually get the bag here, um, so polyester, so it's 100% polyester, um, and like they said, it's the two tree person uh, storm shelter, um, so this is what a body bag is, uh, and uh, it's very comfortable, very small, and very useful. Uh, they have uh, bigger ones, so if you're going with a big group, you can even have some like six or seven, eight person kind of ones. But obviously, bigger the group, bigger the material, the bigger it's going to be in your backpack. But this one, as you can, as you were see, it was able to compress, and that's why I carry this one when I go biking because it's small and it fits in my uh, uh, water bladder. It goes in the back. But if something happens, we're two or three people. Even if I have to administer first aid. Open this. Now I can administer first, first aid. If if I have to uh, um, 
in the winter or something like this, uh, hypothermia or something like this. I just said that over the person and that's it. Anyway, that was a short uh, video just to show uh, what a body bag. And actually, as you can see too, it can be used as a little bit, actually, even through this, see? I can, uh, even with the stuff, so that means it could even use as a, uh, as a rain jacket a little bit. Um, so a little bit like those uh, blanket. And had to this, uh, one of those are great uh, adventure medical uh, the soul now I think it's called those little uh, blanket and you're probably you're you're pretty much tiggy do I could say so actually as you can see now uh, actually I never tried that but it's a nice jacket and I could even put something like this and uh, I mean uh, hide it in and stuff and. And actually, you see, I still have one arm that is fully protected. I've never tried that before, but uh, playing around with this. So that's what I mean by it's multi-purpose. I know a lot of people... <laughs> <I'm talking there. laughs> um, I know a lot of people carry, like, for example, a uh, uh, wool blanket and things like that, which, which is great. But for the size of something like this, for a survival kit, and actually even uh, we were talking for kids, I mean, this, they could carry in a little backpack or even on their side or something like this and probably you could fit this in there and now they have a full kit if something happened they get that over there and as you can see they always made a big uh, big color because uh, they're made for uh, search and rescue to see to see the people so um, they're made of uh, very like I mean they're not made of a uh, color to uh, not be uh, camouflage. They're always made of colors to be seen. Um, you got windows, so um, even if it's storming outside, you can still have the light and everything. Um, so it's a little bit like a tent, actually. You know, like the, the other side of the tent, so the top of the tent. It's pretty much about the same kind of material-ish that they have. Obviously, it's not as high quality, but it's. And actually, you probably even could make one. If you have like an old tent, you could probably like take some of that material and another do you uh, uh, do yourself project. But what it is, as you can see over here, there's a cord over there, and basically this one is to so when you put your backpacks and you sit on them, you close them on. Uh, would I make a fire inside? Ah, it's kind of a closed environment. You do have this thing, but but again. Uh, if you make a fire, for example, you could lift it up a little bit, still have the heat, or open up one side and have some fresh air kind of rushing in. But again, if you're on the top of a mountain, which is mostly where I use it, I don't use um, fire. I would use like an alcohol stove or something. That's that what makes my emergency kit. Uh, so there was there would be less illumination. Still some, but not as much. Uh, carbo uh, COs than a real fire. Anyway, hopefully that was uh, useful. I'll talk to you soon.